Blog Talk Radio. The following ingredients include a look behind the scenes. Cook uncovered until hot. Add grooves to taste. I would like, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. The accident was over a year ago. A second woman has been elected president. The twelfth planet has been named in the solar system. The last wild polar bear has died. I slept through it all. I was here for my waking. He called it a beginning. He said it was good. I think he may have thought that anything I did was good. Welcome to Transition Radio, live from Hollywood, Florida, with your host and hostess, Mark Angelo and Jessica Lynn Cummings. Here are some of the terms and definitions for the 
alphabet of what I dearly like to call the rainbow family. Some of the world's anachronisms that are commonly used in American English for LGBT issues are LGBT, LGBTQ, LGBTQA, TBLG. These acronyms refer to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and an ally. Although all of the different identities within LGBT are often lumped together and share sexism as a common root of oppression. There are specific needs and concerns related to each individual identity. Ally. An ally is a person who is a member of the dominant group who works to end oppression in his or her own personal and professional life by supporting and advocating with the oppressed population. Biphobia, the fear or hatred of bisexual people. This term addresses the ways that prejudice against bisexuals differs from prejudice against other queer people. There is often biphobia in lesbian, gay, and transgender communities, as well as in straight communities. Bisexual is a person who is emotionally, physically, and or sexually attracted to more than one gender, also called bi. Cisgender, a person whose gender identity and expression matches the gender typically associated with the biological sex. For example, a female who identifies as a woman. Coming out to declare and affirm both to oneself and to others one's identity as a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, etc., it's not a single event, but instead a lifelong process. Gay, a homosexual person, usually used to describe men, but may be used to describe women as well. Gender expression refers to the ways in which people externally communicate their gender identity to others through behavior, clothing, hairstyle, voice, and emphasizing, de-emphasizing, or changing their body's characteristics. Gender expression is not necessarily an indication of sexual orientation. Gender identity is the sense of being male or being female. For some people, gender identity is in accord with physical anatomy. For transgender people, gender identity may differ from physical anatomy or expected social role. It is important to note that gender identity, biological sex, and sexual orientation are not necessarily linked. Gender queer, a term which refers to individuals or groups who queer or problematize the hegemonic notion of sex, gender, and desire in a given society. Gender queer people possess identities which fall outside of the widely accepted sexual binary. Gender queer may also refer to people who identify as both transgender and queer. Individuals who challenge both gender and sexually regimens and see gender identity and sexual orientation as overlapping and interconnected. Heterosexual a person who is emotionally, physically, and or sexually attracted, committed to the members or gender or sex that is seen to be the opposite or other than the one with which they identify or identified, also called straight. Homophobia, thoughts, feelings, or actions based on far dislike, judgment, or hatred of lesbians, gay, and bisexual. Homophobia has roots in sexism and can include prejudice, discrimination, harassment, and acts of violence. Homosexual, a person who is primarily and or exclusively attracted to members of what they identify as their own sex or gender, a clinical term that originated in the late 1800s. Some avoid the word because it contains the base word sex. Wow. The term lesbian, bi, and gay are preferred by many in the LGBT community. What's wrong with sex? Anyway, in the closet. To be in the closet means to hide one's LGBT identity in order to avoid negative social repercussions, such as losing a job, housing, friends, or family. Many LGBT individuals are out in some situations and closeted in others, based on their perceived level of safety, period. <laughs> Lesbian, a homosexual woman. Queer used as an umbrella identity term encompassing lesbian, questioning people, gay men, bisexuals, non-labeling people, transgender folks, and anyone else who does not strictly identify as heterosexual. Queer originated as a derogatory word. Currently, it is being reclaimed by some people in use as a statement of empowerment. Some people identify as queer to distance themselves from the rigid categorization of straight and gay. Some transgender, lesbian, gay, questioning, non-labeling, and bisexual people, however, reject the use of this term due to its connotation of deviance and its tendency to gloss over and sometimes deny the differences between these groups. I feel like we're giving 
for listeners a major education of all these terms, confusing terms that have been created. I don't know. I'm getting an education. Are you right? <laughs> sexual orientation, a person, emotional, physical, and sexual attraction, and the expression of that attraction with other individuals. Some of the better known labels or categories include bisexual, or multisexual, pansexual, omnisexual, lesbian, gay, homosexual, is more clinical, or heterosexual. And then there's transgender. This term has many definitions. It is frequently used as an umbrella term to refer to all people who deviate from their assigned gender at birth, or the binary gender system. This includes transsexuals, cross-dressers, gender queers, drag kings, drag queens, two-spirit people, and others. Some transgender people feel they exist not within one of the two standard gender categories, but rather somewhere between, beyond or outside of those two genders. Transphobia. What is it with all the phobias? God, <laughs> arachnophobia. I mean, what the hell? You know? It's a lot of fearful people. Anyway, <laughs> transphobia. The fear or hatred of transgender people or gender nonconforming behavior. Like biphobia. Transphobia can also exist among lesbian, gay, and bisexual people, as well as among heterosexual people. Then you have transsexual. A person who, through experiencing an intense long-term discomfort resulting from feeling the inappropriateness of their assigned gender at birth and discomfort of their own body, adapts their gender role and body to reflect and be congruent with their gender identity. Like I said, I don't know if we've educated or we've confused people some more. Because right now I'm like, oh, my God, uh, all these terms. No wonder no one can handle us. We're just throwing all these terms and issues at them, and they're going, I'm so confused. We need an exorcism in here. I'm telling you. To go with all the phobias and, and all the uh, LGBT, QRS, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Well, please know what you think of me, right? Please know it is very important to respect people's desire, self-identification. One should never assume another person's identity based on that person's appearance. It is always best to ask people how they identify, including what pronouns they prefer, and to respect their wishes. That's a person. That's right. So that's basically all we are. We try to create all these labels, all these boxes, and bottom line, this is for me as a person. We're human beings having, or we're spirits having a human experience. Mm-hmm. And who cares about all these labels? Let's talk a little bit about pansexuality and non gender conformity. The term pansexual is not highly recognized, but there seems to be more and more people identifying as such. So you ask, what is pansexual? Like, we need to add another sexual term or identity or whatever. Well, pansexuality or omnisexuality, pansexuality and confusion, you know, is sexual attraction, sexual desire, romantic love, or emotional attraction towards a person of all gender identities, biological sexes. Self-identified pansexuals may consider pansexuality as sexual orientation and refer to themselves as gender blind, asserting that gender and sex are intended to be irrelevant in determining whether they will be sexually attracted to others. The Oxford Dictionary defines pansexuality as not limited or inhibited in sexual choice with regards to gender or activity. The concept of pansexuality deliberately rejects the gender binary. The notion of two genders and indeed of specific sexual orientation. As pansexual people are open to relationships with people who do not identify as strictly men or women. Wouldn't it be easier if we just all just forget about these terms and just let people be? Pretty much. I think we would have a much greater world. Wouldn't this all happen next to the girl alphabet? Yeah, the alphabet. Well, you know, that's how it goes. There was a study on kids and they were studying about their gender nonconformity, if you wanted to say, and they are more at risk for abuse. 10% of kids defy gender norms before age 11. A new study published in the journal Pediatric found boys consider girly because of their activity choices and interests, and girls deemed boyish are more likely to face abuse, both physical and sexual, and experience post-traumatic stress disorder by early adulthood. According to the USA Today, Parents or other adults in the home were mostly responsible for the abuse. Can you imagine that? You know, right? Your own parents and, you know, and the people that are supposed to love you instead of understand you, you know, they, they create all these psychological issues. Exactly. And they should just do what the Native Americans did. Put all the kids in a circle and let them pick the toys they want, and then they would know exactly what that child's gender is. Or the like spirited concept of the... Yeah, it's like, why do you have to choose one? I don't want that, you know? 
Parents may be uncomfortable with their child's gender expression and may think that parenting can change be, uh, can change behavior. So they may become harsher. Some parents think kids who are non-conforming will grow up to be a gay or a lesbian, and if they are not comfortable with this, they may think that they can change the kid's future. Many households still believe in traditional roles and are not sure how to respond when faced with gender nonconformity. Some parents may respond with love and support. Others may respond with concern or with alarm bells ringing, while others may respond with anger or emotional or physical abuse. That's pretty sad. I mean, thinking back when I was a kid and then all these like, don't act this way, act this way, little girls can do this, little girls, you know, do that, and it's, it's ridiculous. You know, it's it's harming to the spirit. It's harming to the psyche. It creates a bunch of fat alcoholics, smokeaholics, because we're we're so thrown off our normal path by trying to be these things that we're not, and that's why we have the world that we see today. On that note, we're going to change a little bit about all the sexuality, all the trauma, and all the stuff, and get you more alarmed about what's happening on our planet. Our planet is transitioning. Many of you probably say, what is he talking about? Mother Earth, as I dearly like to call her, is undergoing shifts along with the entire universe and galaxies and all the ooh ooh out there, you know. Last week we touched on the awakening of mankind and the evolution Mother Earth is going through. You can listen to that segment on the archives of this show labeled Sex in the Transgender World, dated Tuesday, October 9, 2012. To recap, we were talking about the changes in energy stemming from the tear in the fabric of the universe and how it will affect our planet and mankind. It indicates that we are experiencing a global change of the vital process of living organisms or life itself. The report also made some rather remarkable statements indicating that human consciousness has a direct influence on events, indicating a very deep understanding of the dynamics of what is taking place. The very nature of this spiritual revolution appears to be baffling men, as there does not seem to be a clear understanding of what is taking place and why, specifically the issue of whether the incoming energy would cause widespread destruction does not seem to have been widely assessed, i.e., is the level of human consciousness on this planet still still at? Question mark. Right. <laughs> Since we have many prophecies, from highly respected seers like Nostradamus that seem to be unfulfilled, it appears that maybe there has been enough of a shift in human consciousness to avoid complete devastation. This is a belief of the author and other respected metaphysical sources, but this hypothesis leaves us in a curious position. What are we to expect? Well, instead of a worldwide catastrophic about leaving few survivors, what about the bulk of humanity remaining to witness the greatest transition in the history of mankind? Yes, there will be some catastrophe, as we have already seen, and humanity will mutate, because cosmic energies are already pouring down on this planet as predicted. But what if the energy is used to sort out the wheat from the chafe in a manner proposed by evolutionary biologists? They tell us that in the process of evolutionary change, mutants arise and become dominant. The spiritual and metaphysical belief is that those who are ready will transform and those who are not will cease to exist. The necessary investigation has been already done and there can be no doubt. The message is humans are on track for a metamorphosis. I need to be thinking about something. I just got those aha moments. Mutants. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello. Um, could it possibly be that we transgender, <laughs> we are the mutants, and there's we will live forever, forever. <laughs> that there is something going on in the planet that requires both a feminine and masculine energy to be able to deal with what's going to happen? Can you imagine the world falls apart? Okay. And it's it's trying to put it back together. <laughs> Not as so and so, but um, okay. everything is just falling apart. And if you're a female, and you have no masculine, or you're not in touch with your masculine side, and all the trees are falling, and everything is going to heck, what what are you going to do? So Mother Earth is preparing the mutants to be able to be both man and female in case whatever takes place. So you need to be a man for a little while and pull that big old tree that got in your way because it came flying from the fires. 
or you need to be a female learn how to cook the meals for the community or the the what do you call it commune that we've had to create to deal with all this disaster. And if we grow tails, we're really smart. Well, that might be next nice. because you know who knows how much water we'll have to endure. Well, I remember the movie Avatar. Yes, that is right. They all have tails. tails. That's right. So just one of those aha uh-huh, food to ponder upon. Words to ponder upon. What are you hungry? No, I'm not hungry. Um, That's not a very stressful day. Yeah, I wonder why. Anyway, next. All right, we're going to talk about the transgender news around the world. The Gorilla Angel Report, an Irish transgender advocacy advocacy group, is taking on a cell phone provider, media or mobile communication, for exploiting trans people in television, commercial, promoting their products. There always seems to be somebody trying to exploit somebody. Last week it was Annie. The uh, the play called Tranny. The, yeah, in Australia, in the Opera House there. In yeah. Australia. The Opera House. These, these, uh, all these equality groups just, just love to pick on things. It's really uh, to like. Yeah, right. yeah. Transgender Equality Network Ireland, short for Tenny, or long for Tenny, say these commercials are dehumanizing and are being used for cheap laughs. Commercials has reportedly been widely shown on both satellite and terrestrial TV. Terrestrial TV. That makes me think. Up air, up air and ten That makes me think of an ET or some sort of thing. Ten Eye has filled a complaint with advertising standards, Authority for Ireland, and YouTube, and has begun a public awareness campaign to get the commercials off the air. Ten Eye's broadened Ireland's trans community should not be used for cheap labs. In a recent health survey, 40% of trans people in Ireland had attempted suicide at least once. Trans people are among the most marginalized people in Ireland. They are Irish residents and taxpayers and are still not recognized by the state in their true gender. They are not accorded their basic human rights. Penny was a force and getting another trans exploitation commercial banned earlier this year in May. Now, I have one thing to say about that. That the fact that, you know, I mean, obviously I've seen several, several commercials that use transgender people. Um, Like I said the last time, I mean, you know, we spend all that time saying, okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. But just remember, negative publicity is still good publicity because people are still being made aware of who we are. So, I mean, you can't always look at it as a bad, 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 bad. Try to find a positive light in something. I mean, you know, seriously, the the kind of things that go on. I mean, I saw 13 videos today that I watched. I couldn't find this particular one, but I watched 13 different videos today on commercials that uh, that had transgendered individuals in it, or a transgendered thing. And I think that's phenomenal. And if it's in good if it's in good taste and it's not totally off the wall, then hey, I'm all for it. It's educational. Well, that's one of the reasons I did many of the uh, talk shows. I mean, Maury Povich is not exactly, you know, it's not as bad as Jerry Springer. But I decided to go there just to educate. And I figured, you know what, I'll stand there and I'll educate. And that's what I did. I think the more people know about us and understand that there's individuals like us, the more acceptance or at least tolerance would be. Um, Thinking about Ireland here, because I lived in Ireland, I actually lived in England for two years and I had an Irish girlfriend, and I traveled to Ireland several times to visit our family. They're very Catholic, and they have this major division between Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland. So I could see how this is, uh, you know, they're still pretty much in, it's like taking a time machine, you know, in, in ancient times, and they're, they're very religious, they drink a lot. Nothing against Irish people, I love them, but, you know, sometimes... It's not always true. That's another stereotype. So, well, I I was there and I they drank a lot. Well, yes, they did. But um, I'm I happen to be Irish and I don't think. Well, because you weren't. Maybe it's yeah, just, maybe maybe the, the fire fire in the atmosphere. I don't, I don't know. Again, the mutation. Yeah, the mutation. <laughs> it's just an incredible thing. We uh, want to encourage you guys to visit our website www.trans.transitionradio.net. Check it out. Jess has been working very hard on that website and trying to create all sorts of fun things for you guys. We've got a forum. Soon we're going to have a webcam. Just go play in the playground and please support our sponsor, yeah. Orno Bay. Really nice individuals there, and you just have a good old time on that on that website. Like we said earlier, it's the adult 
Entertainment Playground. So go check it out. It's actually a pretty cool site. I went through it today. And they have great auctions, you know, which I think is a great concept. Mm-hmm. Great, great exactly. concept. And they have classified... Hey, an auction place for adult play. It doesn't get any get the lowest that. prices. It doesn't get any pay hey, for those lonely nights. They work out well. <laughs> especially, right. especially, I heard of this thing called Flashlight, which is pretty cool. I don't know how new it is, probably. But uh, I thought it was pretty realistic. Yeah. <laughs> I will, so we won't go there, okay? We're going to do this PG, so let's... Uh, <laughs> they need to create one for uh, transgender men with small, small wee-wees. <laughs> the mother of flashlights are a little too big for... Uh, you know. But, you know. They need, actually, I would love, I mean, a prosthesis that you could connect and make feel like it's yours. Maybe that has some sort of robotic extension where it could somehow get into Robocock. The <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that way, you know, when it's time to please the ladies, you know, you got something that's <laughs> and lifelike and well, you know, I went a little overboard. No, we're not. I mean, I really think no, that sure it should actually invent something out there for FTOs. You know, because it's Definitely. you know it's it's a it's a sad world when you're walking around with the smallest ding dong in the world, and you know I don't let it affect me that much, but there are times that it gets very frustrating. Well, we got three minutes left of the show. Any callers out there wanting to ask any questions? The lines are open up. Number is six four six seven one six six eight nine five. And again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Porno Bay. Yes. Um, and we're going to play a song. Maybe. Yeah, and I'm going to announce tomorrow's show. We've got uh, Logan. I can never remember his last Wetzel. name. Wetzel. Wetzel, thank you. What would I do without you? I don't know. Uh, he's uh, an FDM. That's a female to male transsexual. And he's got a lovely story to tell. Dear, dear person, four children, going to school, trying to get into modeling. And uh, there's some sad things about his story, which I will touch upon tomorrow. But please tune in. And, uh, again, visit our website. Join our Facebook group and Facebook page. Uh, Go in on Blog Talk Radio and hit the little follow button, letting Blog Talk Radio know that, hey, you can join the show. We do all this for you guys. And Blog Talk Radio also, for those of you that don't want to really get an account, you can actually log in with your Facebook account or Twitter account, or you can actually uh, just start a listener account, which basically you can go through and listen to all the good stuff on Blog Talk Radio, which is actually pretty cool, too. they got a lot of other bitches. Yeah, it's, a, it's really a good avenue to get your voices out there and be heard, and that's why uh, we decided to choose this venue. All right, guys, I guess that's enough rambling for tonight. Um, We'll see you tomorrow night with uh, Logan, and uh, we have a bunch of questions for him. And hope you enjoy the show. Thank you so much for listening. And have a wonderful evening. We love you, and remember to love yourselves, too. This song is dedicated. Song is dedicated to the people of the world. I hate when the lady comes on and says, 90 90 seconds. Then the show gets cut off, and we gotta we gotta complain about that. Anyway, thank you guys. We love you and remember to love yourselves too. People of the world, original for myself. Enjoy it. Check it out on iTunes and on my other great hits. Take care, good night, and hasta luego. Hasta vista, baby. heart is broken and you don't care All you think about are your pleasures How many pairs of shoes you own Too many to count and call your own You wasted life on seeking treasures oh. You people love this world It's time to get along I don't understand, I don't understand why we don't Fall onto your hands.
your philosophy Richer, richer and the greed I take it over our emotions You people of this world It's time to get along I don't understand, I don't understand why we don't Save our world, our dance Our way of life must be changed A little more humanity A caring voice and a loving means The time is now for us to say People of this world It's time to get along I don't understand, I don't understand Why we don't Together 